Hello everyone, welcome to another video and today after we've really kind of tried to put this thing through its paces in the previous videos, let's give it a tear down. So we're going to see if we can take this thing apart. Uh, maybe there's some upgradable components in it. Maybe we can upgrade the RAM. Maybe we can get rid of that terribly so storage. If you haven't already, do go check out my review and unboxing of this Chromebook, as well as a video we did on how gaming performance works on it. Suffice to say, not very well. But let's get this thing open and let's see what we're working with. Is there anything that can save the cheapest Chromebook and make it more usable? Or are we really better off just getting a second-hand laptop that does have upgradability within? Let's get to it and let's see how this goes. Okay, so we are all set up, ready. Let's get this thing apart. Now, one thing I have noticed is there are no kind of noticeable uh, screws anywhere. There's nothing on the front, on the back as well. We've got no visible screws. We do have these four rubberized feet, which I'm gonna take a hazard of a guess to assume that that is where the screws are hiding. So let's get start by getting those off and we'll take a look underneath. Um, oh, actually, I was just trying with my nail and they just pop clean off. Oh, oh, I like that. Can I show you that? Yeah, it actually just comes off. They're not glued down, they just pop in. That is very nice, which means, yeah, they just come off so easily, a little too easily, actually, but you may end up losing these. But what that means is one point already. We don't actually have to remove any glue, which is normally the case. These are normally glued down. So that's pretty cool. I'm very happy about that. And then lo and behold, we have four screws. So let's take those off and see what else we're dealing with. So I'm not optimistic let's be honest about the upgradability of this device it is a very cheap chromebook I'm kind of expecting it to be very locked down okay so now the screws are off it looks like we've kind of got these two tones of plastic and we can probably pry something in the side there oh there we go actually it looks like there we go there's a little bit of a lip in there can you see that and the same again on the other side. So I reckon if we get a prying tool in there, that might pop up. Let's give it a go, shall we? So if we just pop that in there. Yeah, there you go. Pops straight off and then we can, oh, look at that. Just comes clean, pretty clean, actually. That's impressive, I must admit, that was, way less painful than I was expecting. That all just is just held by lots of tiny little plastic clips. They're quite small, but there's lots of them. So none of them are specifically taking much strain. That came off really easily. Very impressed. So let's pop that down and let's take a look at our Chromebook. So here we go. Straight off the bat, we have a pretty massive battery here. You can see there the specifications of the battery. It's a 40.2 watt hour battery, rated capacity of 5,070 milliamp hours. So I, I must admit, I just love the, with these like budget devices, how little space the actual motherboard takes up now. So this is the motherboard here. This is your battery. You've got speakers either side, You've got a small daughter board, which is your um, headphone jack. That's actually all that seems to do. That's interesting. And then the rest of the ports along this side. Okay, well, this big piece of copper is kind of uh, hiding a lot of the goodies. Let's get it open. I will say off the bat, upgradability is not looking good. This also looks to be the Wi-Fi chip here with the antennas running off it. Um, so again, that looks built onto the motherboard. We're not going to be even being able to upgrade that or use the slot for something else. That's something you can sometimes do. Doesn't look like we're going to be doing it here. But let's get this heat pad off and let's see what we have underneath. 
I do like the fact that everything is pretty well labeled as well. All in all, this is oddly easy to dissemble. I'm impressed, considering the fact that actually there's very little that you'll be able to do with it. And there we go. And before we go any further, we should probably disconnect the battery as well. So you can see here, this is the cable that's coming from the battery into the device. There's a little screw here as well. So we'll get that off. And it looks like, yeah, this little kind of bracket to hold the power in place. Pop that off there, there you go. So quite a small, delicate connection that connects the battery to the motherboard, but that is now disconnected. So with that done, we can take this copper plate off. Oh, there's definitely some thermal paste on there. I can feel that sticking. There we go. Uh, plenty of thermal paste, actually. Pretty well covered. Um, and unfortunately, straight off the bat, my worries have been confirmed. We have everything soldered to the board. We have a couple of memory modules here. I'm assuming this is our EMMC storage here. Um, it also on the heatsink has a heat pad that goes to that chip. So that's why I'm assuming that's the storage. Yeah, unfortunately, a very dense board, like there's a lot crammed in there, but it is all soldered to the board. There is nothing we can do. So next step, let's see if we can get this battery out pretty easily. I wanna know if this is gonna be user replaceable or if it is glued down. Um, other than that, I guess you'll be able to replace things like the speakers if you needed to, but uh, not a huge amount in here. And there's a big empty space here as well. That's very interesting. Maybe this could be used for a, a, a more upgraded model. There seems to be this extra connection pad that's been left empty there. Now, it's fascinating. It's very interesting to see. This is probably almost certainly being used by something else as well. But let's see if we can get this battery off. There it go. Is this now going to just lift off and be nice to me? Oh, it is. Look at that. Okay, Samson, I have to give you props. That is a fully user replaceable battery that is actually incredibly easy there's no glue nothing's being forced down it um yeah i'm really impressed with that that's that's kind of cool with that gone you can kind of now see you've got the big ribbon cable that goes to the keyboard you've got the smaller cable for the trackpad and this is the trackpad here with some chips on it to manage that your two speakers, which look like you could probably get those off as well quite easily. The small daughter board over here. And then the main board is, again, screwed down with a few more screws. You know, with this going as well as it is, let's see if we can get that main board out. So it looks like we're going to want to take off this here first. This little bracket that's supporting the USB and USB-C ports, probably just to keep everything kind of where it belongs. See if I can, oh, that's a much bigger screw. I can get that one out like so. And it looks like then this bit possibly potentially will just come off seems to be somewhat oh, okay I think it might be yeah there we go so this is just looks like some extra bracketing to keep those ports in place stop them wearing down as much when you're putting stuff in and out of them that's quite nice to see um, and also then this bolt back here was holding the motherboard down as well 
Let's get the rest of these screws off. So we've just got the speaker out from there. And that is uh, the whole motherboard just like that. Not going to bother taking off the antenna and everything else. But there you go. That is literally the whole computer there. Um, yeah, I have to say this has been really impressive. I have to give props to um, Samsung for making such a cheap device that is actually completely repairable. Dismant you know, at the very least, you can take it apart. Okay, granted, you're not going to be able to upgrade anything, but you could replace this daughter board if you needed to, get a new battery, replace the speakers. There's lots of things that you could replace if things go wrong. So yeah, I'm really impressed by that, I must admit. So props to Samsung for this. Um, yeah, I think all that's left to do is let's get it back together and see if I can get it to boot again. And there we go, that's all that back together now. Let's get the back back on. Final screws in place, put the feet back on, which is surprising that we're gonna be able to do that and uh, make sure it all works. And there we go, all back up and working perfectly. So there we have it, unfortunately, as I expected. There is no upgrade path whatsoever. It's impressive how small the motherboard and components are in the laptop, I will freely admit that. It's a particularly nice piece of engineering and I do appreciate the fact that it's actually quite easy to open it up and get inside. So I guess you could replace the battery or if one of the little daughter boards had been damaged or broken you could replace those but you're not upgrading any parts in this thing mm, not at all I mean maybe you can improve the cooling solution a little bit but other than that there's no chance unfortunately this is this Chromebook is just doomed to be a terrible terrible choice and not something that you really should be getting you're definitely gonna be better off with a slightly older uh, full-size laptop with better components and more upgradability as well. Still, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this teardown. I hope it's useful if you do need to replace any of those components. And uh, I hope you'll hang around for the next video too. Please do make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We are well on our way to a thousand subscribers now. I'm really enjoying this. I think this year is definitely going to be the year 
where we keep that momentum going. We've got loads of different content from tech content, aviation, travel vlogs, all sorts of stuff coming up. So do make sure to hang around. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.